Hello guys, welcome to my new podcast called The Warriors Breakdown, where I basically just talk about what's been going on with the Worcester Warriors rugby team and anything else in the Gallagher Premiership. This week we're going to be talking about Worcester's previous game against Saracens, Duncan Weir in general, Dave Ward Spit against Wasps, and the decision Alan Solomon has to make regarding Humphreys, Adams and Heem after Humphreys had a great performance against Saracens. Now, last Saturday, well up again. I'm going to be honest, I thought we did well in the first half. I think Weir and Teo both scored really good tries. Weir's, uh, it's a bit debatable. It's a bit debatable. Personally, I thought Callum Clark initially did really well to get over the ball, but he did play the ball on the floor, so that should have been a penalty. But the ball going out of the Ruck saga, that some, I think some South fans were complaining on social media about. Mm. I do think both Worcester and Saris fans should agree it's a 50-50 decision and at the end of the day it could have gone both ways but nevertheless who guard for the hell didn't he do well to die on the side of that rock and get the ball out quickly just switching on is what we need in the premiership we're speaking about switching on he also switched on and quickly ultimately scored the try and that's what Worcester have wanted for years and years who can a flight half who can make decisions quickly and efficiently under pressure. I'm going to speak on Weir more just later, but the second try came from Ben Teo after a sublime line break from Perry Humphreys, who obviously came in for Josh Adams. But personally, I think Humphreys can easily play top flight rugby, but he doesn't offer this try scoring ability that Josh Adams and Bryce Heem do. He is a great ball carrier and he's somebody that is feared by opposition defenders. And he also has that offloading ability that um, Jackson Williston had. Jackson Williston had first last season. It's something we really miss. And I also think Perry Humphreys doesn't offer the finishing ability that Josh Adams does. But I think he would still make a start in 23 for a Premiership game. He's just too big of a player to leave out, I think. Uh, now, another discussion point for the podcast is going to be with Duncan Weir. Don't get you wrong, I think he's an absolute class player. He's not afraid to make a tackle, he's not afraid to put his body on the line, but then that does run the risk of him getting injured, which is something we could not do, because bearing in mind, John Alance is also injured. It wouldn't do us many favours, bearing in mind, our next replacement is Jamie Shilcock, who is a good player, he's a good player, but I don't think he's Premiership standard just yet, compared to Weir and Lance. I think Weir's kicking out of hand is absolutely stunning, and so is Lance, but anyway, I think Shilcock's not already up there. So far, something else happened this week, and it was actually a big game 10. For those of you who don't know what big game is, it's basically this big game every year that Quinns play at Twickenham to raise a bit of money for charity. Now, Dave Ward, the Quinns hooker, allegedly trod on Thomas Young's ankle and spat on him. I'll link the video below in the description, but uh, Ward treading on Young's ankle was fairly obvious because it was televised by BT Sport, so everyone could see it. Ward didn't actually tweet an apology, but he did say in a club statement, <coughs> in a club statement, I apologise unreservedly to Thomas Young, Wasps and everybody at Harlequins for my yellow card yesterday. I would also like to make clear, I did not spit on any other player during the match yesterday, regardless of what the television looks like. But what I find so bad about this whole apology is that he didn't actually apologise for the, him treading on Young's ankle. He apologises to the club for the yellow card he received for it. To be fair, he did apologise to Wasps for the incident and Thomas Young. So that obviously makes it better a whole lot. But he completely, completely denied the spitting, which I think is absolutely rubbish. You can't really argue with the footage, mate, can you? A few tweets on the matter. Lance Delali, the BT Sport commentator who was at the game, said, he was lucky not to get a red card. Andy Gude, the ex-Warriors and Wasp fly half, said Dave Ward's actions are as Dave Ward's actions are disgusting, and there is no place for that on the rugby field. There was a bit of a heated exchange between Carl Sinclair, the another Harlequin soccer, and Will Carling, obviously ex-Harlequins, and Andy Gude, obviously. Both Sinclair and Carling defending Ward. Carling said, Come on, Andy, you know you should always defend a teammate. 
Goode responded, you can't defend the indefensible. Well, said Andy Goode, I'm sure that time you had at Worcester White, it has taught you well, my son, taught you well. Billy Burns, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please hit the subscribe button and make sure to tune in next week. If you like it so much, you can check out these videos. See ya.